A Legacy of Peacekeeping, UNIFIL in Lebanon. The United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, known as UNIFIL, has been a constant presence in southern Lebanon since 1978. This mission was born out of a need to stabilize a region fraught with conflict and uncertainty. Its mission to maintain peace along the volatile border between Lebanon and Israel, a task that has proven both challenging and essential over the years. Established after the Israeli invasion of Lebanon, UNIFIL's mandate was clear to confirm Israeli withdrawal, restore peace and security, and assist the Lebanese government in reasserting its authority. This mandate has evolved to meet the changing dynamics of the region. For decades, UNIFIL, with its distinctive blue helmets, has served as a buffer, a symbol of stability in a region often teetering on the brink of conflict. Their presence has been a reassuring sight for many local communities. The initial deployment of UNIFIL was a response to a specific crisis, but its mission evolved over time. The force adapted to new challenges and responsibilities as the situation on the ground changed. The 1982 Israeli invasion and subsequent occupation of southern Lebanon led to an expanded role for UNIFIL. This period marked a significant shift in their operations and objectives. The force found itself monitoring a ceasefire, providing humanitarian aid, and working tirelessly to prevent further outbreaks of violence. Their efforts have been crucial in maintaining a semblance of peace. Despite the ongoing tensions and occasional flare-ups, UNIFIL, for the most part, managed to maintain a fragile peace along the border. Their vigilance and dedication have been key to this delicate balance. However, the complex geopolitical landscape of the region, marked by deep-seated animosity and mistrust between Israel and Hezbollah, a powerful Shia militant group based in Lebanon, has always posed challenges to UNIFIL's mission. Navigating these tensions requires constant vigilance and diplomacy. Hezbollah's growing military capabilities and its commitment to armed resistance against Israel have, in recent years, added a dangerous dimension to UNIFIL's peacekeeping efforts. This has made their mission increasingly perilous. The presence of UNIFIL has undoubtedly contributed to preventing a full-scale war between Israel and Lebanon. Their role as peacekeepers has been indispensable in maintaining relative calm. However, the recent attacks on UN peacekeepers highlight the precariousness of the situation and the growing challenges facing the mission. These incidents underscore the volatility of the region. As tensions escalate and the regional dynamics shift, the role of UNIFIL is more critical than ever. Their continued presence and efforts are vital in striving for lasting peace and stability in this troubled region. Under fire, recent attacks on UN peacekeepers. Recent months have witnessed a disturbing trend, an escalation of violence directed at UNIFIL peacekeepers. No longer seen as neutral arbiters, the peacekeepers have increasingly become targets, their presence challenged, their movements restricted. These attacks, often attributed to unidentified armed groups operating in southern Lebanon, raise alarming questions about the safety and security of UN personnel and the viability of the peacekeeping mission itself. The attacks range from stone throwing and harassment to more serious incidents involving firearms and explosives. In one particularly disturbing incident, a UNIFIL convoy was attacked with improvised explosive devices, resulting in injuries to peacekeepers. These attacks, while condemned by both Lebanese authorities and Hezbollah, underscore the volatile environment in which UNIFIL operates. The motives behind these attacks are complex and multifaceted. Some local communities, influenced by Hezbollah's narrative, view UNIFIL as biased towards Israel, accusing the force of failing to prevent Israeli incursions into Lebanese territory. Others accuse UNIFIL of encroaching on their sovereignty, restricting their movements, and interfering in their daily lives. Regardless of the motives, these attacks on UN peacekeepers are unacceptable. They undermine the UN's efforts to maintain peace and stability in the region and endanger the lives of those serving under the UN flag. The international community must send a clear message that such attacks will not be tolerated and those responsible will be held accountable. Shifting Sands, Hezbollah's Evolving Role Hezbollah, a powerful Shia political party and militant group, plays a pivotal role in Lebanon, wielding significant influence over both the government and the population. Its reach extends beyond politics, deeply embedding itself into the social fabric of Lebanese society. Designated a terrorist organization by the United States and Israel, Hezbollah maintains a heavily armed militia, which it claims is necessary for defending Lebanon against Israeli aggression. This military wing is a cornerstone of its strategy and identity. 
The group's evolving role and its relationship with UNIFIL have become increasingly complex, marked by both cooperation and confrontation. This duality reflects the broader geopolitical tensions in the region. On the one hand, Hezbollah has publicly acknowledged the importance of UNIFIL's presence in southern Lebanon, recognizing the role it plays in maintaining stability along the border. This acknowledgement is part of its broader strategy to present itself as a legitimate political entity. The group has, at times, cooperated with UNIFIL, providing information and facilitating access to certain areas. Such cooperation is often tactical, aimed at achieving short-term goals. However, Hezbollah has also made it clear that it views UNIFIL's mandate as limited, emphasizing that the responsibility for defending Lebanon lies solely with the Lebanese army and Hezbollah's own forces. This stance underscores its desire to maintain military autonomy. On the other hand, Hezbollah's actions often contradict its rhetoric. The group's military activities frequently challenge the boundaries of its declared intentions. The group's vast military infrastructure, including its arsenal of rockets and missiles, located in close proximity to the border, is seen by Israel as a direct threat. This arsenal is a significant factor in the regional power dynamics. Hezbollah's occasional cross-border raids and its pronouncements, vowing to liberate all of Palestine, further escalate tensions with Israel and complicate UNIFIL's mission. These actions are part of its broader ideological commitment. Hezbollah's influence over some local communities, its ability to mobilize supporters, and its control over certain areas in southern Lebanon create a challenging environment for UNIFIL. This influence is both a source of strength and a point of contention. The peacekeepers often find themselves caught between their mandate to maintain peace and the realities of navigating a complex political landscape where Hezbollah holds considerable sway. This delicate balance is a testament to the intricate nature of peacekeeping in the region. A delicate balance, Israel's security concerns. Israel views Hezbollah's military capabilities as an existential threat, pointing to the group's vast arsenal of rockets and missiles aimed at Israeli cities. The sheer number and range of these weapons have made Hezbollah a formidable adversary in the eyes of Israel. Israel has repeatedly accused Hezbollah of using UNIFIL's presence as a shield, exploiting the peacekeeping force to enhance its own military infrastructure and capabilities along the border. This tactic, according to Israel, allows Hezbollah to operate with a degree of impunity, complicating the security dynamics in the region. Israel's security concerns, while understandable, have often led to actions that further complicate UNIFIL's mission and exacerbate tensions with Lebanon. The presence of UN peacekeepers is meant to stabilize the region, but Israel's actions sometimes undermine these efforts. These actions can lead to heightened tensions and confrontations at the border, making the peacekeepers' job even more challenging. Israel conducts regular surveillance flights over Lebanese territory, arguing that it's necessary to monitor Hezbollah's activities and prevent the group from launching attacks. These surveillance operations are a key part of Israel's strategy to preempt potential threats. These flights, however, are seen by Lebanon as violations of its sovereignty and often draw condemnation from the international community. The international community frequently criticizes these actions, calling for respect for Lebanese airspace and sovereignty. Israel has also carried out airstrikes inside Lebanon, targeting what it claims are Hezbollah weapons depots and facilities. These strikes are intended to disrupt Hezbollah's operational capabilities. Israel's insistence on maintaining a security buffer zone along the border, coupled with its restrictions on the movement of people and goods, has further fueled resentment among the local population. This resentment often manifests in protests and civil unrest, adding to the volatility of the region. These challenges faced by UNIFIL are compounded by the complex and often hostile environment in which they operate. The peacekeepers often find themselves caught in the middle, trying to maintain a neutral stance while navigating the competing security concerns of Israel and Lebanon. Their role is crucial in mediating conflicts and ensuring that tensions do not escalate into full-blown confrontations. Israel's security concerns are legitimate, but its actions must be proportionate and in line with international law. Adhering to international law is essential to maintaining global support and legitimacy. Unilateral actions that violate Lebanon's sovereignty or endanger the lives of civilians only serve to escalate tensions and undermine UNIFIL's efforts to maintain peace. The path to lasting peace requires cooperation, respect for